Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Adventures in Dog Training with American Standard Dog Training and American Overwatch Canine Services. So to my left here is Mr. Bentley. You guys may remember him. He's one of our most popular videos we have going on. When he was with us about a year ago, he was only three months old. Uh, maybe like 10 weeks, I think, when we first started with him. It's been a long time. When he was with us, he was only here for a three-week on-leash board and train program. We sprinkled a little bit of off-leash, meaning we sprinkled a little bit of e-collar work with him just because it helps us with training in general. But the family at the time only wanted to go for the three-week program, which is fine. He was still a stud after that, as you can see back in some of our previous video clips. But after about a year, they realized, you know what? We wish we had gone for the off-leash training, and why don't we go ahead and send him back to your program just to tighten him back up, uh, reintroduce the e-collar, get him charged up on that, and now it's been a couple weeks since we've had him back, and now he's uh, ready to go back home off-leash train. So we're going to show you what that looks like here in this park. As you can see maybe in the background, there's kids running around in the playground. Um, it's a little quieter back here because we're not supposed to have the dog off-leash per se, and uh, the park ranger was rolling around earlier trying to, trying to catch us, but anyways. Uh, the dog's going to be very well behaved, as you'll see, and um, he's ready to work right now, so we'll get right into it, and we'll show you what he's learned in these last couple weeks. There's a distance between us. It's getting hard to reach out. Now, stay. So as, as you can see, that's what off-leash healing would look like after a, a four-week program. Um, and just to clarify, we originally had him for three weeks. Then he came back to get that final week, but it's been over a year since we trained him. So it takes longer than a week when they come back. We kind of have to brush a little bit of the rust off, get him back in the training mindset. And so it took what would have been a four-week program, ended up being about five, five and a half weeks. So he goes back home tomorrow. Um, but as you can see, now you can take him anywhere. I mean, it's really quiet out here, but uh, the last few days we took him to uh, outside of a strip mall. We took him into the middle of a farm with um, you name it. Every kind of animal was there, and he was off leash the whole time. So um, this is the type of freedom, and I always stress this in all my videos. An e-collar allows you to have this kind of freedom, this kind of control over your dog. Um, and that control, again, brings the freedom, allows me to bring him anywhere, and he can run around off leash. at the at the uh, snap of a finger, he can run around like a wild man out here in the, uh, in the field, have a great time, but God forbid he starts to chase a rabbit uh, across the street, I can call him back with one call. If he chooses not to listen, I have a remote control right here, just like changing the, the channel on the TV, boop, press one button, and we're on the channel called Get Your Butt Back to Me As Soon As Possible. Right, buddy? Good boy. Good stay. I'll pay him a couple pieces of hot dog because I like that stay. Boy. All right. Let's see if we do a little bit of distance control with him, see how he does. This is not really part of our program, but we play with it just to have some fun. So distance control is working your dog from a little further away than obviously sit, down, good, stay. That's how you're usually training your dog, but once you start adding distance, it changes the picture, and dogs are a little bit what we call like autistic in the way they learn. This is a different picture. Just like me talking to you from here is different than obviously I'm this close to you. It's just a different picture to the dog, okay? So here's that different picture. Let's see how he does. I have no idea. He might be all right. Watch. Sit. Good. Down. Good. Try hand commands only. See how he does? He's got a Pay attention to me for that to happen. There is a ton of stuff happening in the background, so he's eyes on everything but that. So we'll use the e-collar if needed, just a tap of it. There we go. Now, that's programmed, by the way. The e-collar is layered with sits, downs, recalls, finish, go to place, come off place, look at me. So when he feels it, he may jump into kind of like an autopilot response, like, hey, I feel that. 
I know there's a way to turn it off. So his initial, the biggest thing we charge it up on is get your butt to me. Because once your dog gets to you, then he can look at you, sit down, whatever you need. So we hadn't actually, that's kind of my fault. We have never used, and by the way, that was a level six out of a hundred. He's just hypersensitive to it. But a six is like me tickling with my finger. Um, he's just a little, as you can see, animated right now. So sit, good, watch. So from here, we'll do it now that he's looking at me. Good. A little bit of creeping. We try not to let them creep, but that's okay. He's not a competition dog. Good. Let's try another one. Hopefully he doesn't creep. Good. He's a little averse, you see, to the hand movement. See that? It's not from us, but he hasn't been with us for a year, so you can figure out what's happened in the last 12 months. In fact, when we got him, some of that little bit of rust we had to take off, Good boy, which I'll show you now. Oh, I have a leash here. I'm like looking for my leash. It's on me. I'm going to show you a little bit of the rust we had to knock off. It's going to be hard to show you. And by rust, I mean bad habits, um, things that have been classically conditioned. Good boy. He is super, super light on the leash right now, as he should be. When we got him back over the course of the 12 months, and I'll just I'll make it real personal. I'll explain to you in just a minute what happened. We can all learn from it. Been there, done that. Many of us had made mistakes in the past before, but I'm going to come in close to the camera and tell you this story. Come on. So there's actually, we just decided there's going to be a part two to this video where we get a little personal and talk a story about Bentley um, and something he had learned, learned incorrectly, and we would call it, probably the title of that video is What You Should Never Do With Your Dog, and if you do do something bad with your dog when it comes to leash pressure or using the prong, how to fix it. But stay tuned for that part two. It'll be coming up right after this one. Uh, but let's go ahead and stick to the focus of this video. As you know me, I like to talk in circles and I'll ramble on for hours about dog training. But when you get back to the meat and potatoes of it, which is Bentley is off leash trained now. And so we're going to get a couple more uh, shots of him doing sits and downs, but from a different angle. Good boy. Down. Good. Oh, all the way down, my friend. Good. Good. We can walk around him. Um, we can take. This looks like no big deal, but put your dog in a down stay and then bend down to tie your shoes and see what happens. Nine times out of ten, they like to get up, run over. It's just a different picture. Usually when you get down low, it means it's time to play. So we proof them off of that. We let them know that a down stay is a down stay is a down stay. It doesn't matter if I'm doing jumping jacks or what I do if I walk around them. If I walk over them, we'll pay him a piece now because he's doing so good. Good boy. Get them comfortable. Do some more hand commands. Watch. Good. A little bit of creeping. I know you can fault me for that, the folks at home. You can deduct one point. You shouldn't creep when um, we do hand commands or down. Good. So no creep on the verbal. Let's see if he creeps on the hand. Just for note. Creeping means like inching forward. Good. Now, he didn't that time because I was closer to him, but we'll back up and try that again. Sit. Ah, uh, sit. Good. Yeah, a little bit of creep. That's what we use place boards for. There's a way to fix that. I'm not that concerned. This dog, this dog's not supposed to be competing in anything. He's just a house dog, but really happy with that. You could almost compete with him. He's pretty sharp. Sit. Heel. Oh, boy. Let's go in circles. Boy. If I stop, He's supposed to auto sit. I'll show you that on the other side. Heel. Good boy. A little crooked. Let's try it again. Heel. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Probably can't see from that angle, but he's supposed to stop right where he is, not kicked out. That about wraps it up. I mean, this is an off leash dog. We'll do a couple. Uh, throws of the food, let him stretch his legs a little bit. You can picture this being a tennis ball. Free. Maybe come in behind me, and then you'll, you'll get some of these shots. Free. Good. Good boy. I've been feeding him hot dogs, so he doesn't want any of this uh, $1 kibble. Free. <laughs> How about this one? How about a hot dog? I bet you go all the way for that one. Free. There he goes. You go out there for those hot dogs. Bentley, here. How about a finish, my buddy? Where are you? Where are you? That's what I'm looking for. Good boy. 
So that's actually a great example of a recall because I threw a hot dog, but it was kind of half split in two. So when it landed, it split off. He got one, the other went right into the grass and he was hunting for it. Right in the middle of him hunting for it, I recalled him to me. Um, and that, that's the name of the game. That's a true recall. That means calling your dog off of something. Uh, in this case, it was hunting for a hot dog. So I'll throw a couple more and try to demonstrate that. Free. These will be land in the street. Well, that one went in the grass, but that's okay. I'll let them get that one. It's right where the other two are, so we'll let them enjoy that. And then at any second now, like right now, Bentley here. Yes. This one, I'm going to throw it deep into the grass before he even gets there. Call him back to me. True recall, right? Here it is, buddy. We've got to make sure our e collar set where we need it to be. I'll go to a 25 for this one. Should be enough. Free. That one's in the street. I'll let him have that one. Finish. Come on. Good boy. One piece on the way out. Three, four, five pieces on the way back. Bentley here! Yes! Good boy. He's going to get ten pieces for that. At least, I'm just going to hook him up, because that, my friends, that's what we call a recall. Good boy. Good boy. You did so good. You did so good. And, and to, and to sh just kind of recap what just happened there, because that, that's, let's not gloss over that. That's special. That's, that's what he's here for, because that's what the family called and said. On a leash, he's amazing. The second you do this, and I'll demonstrate it, on a leash at home, he's amazing. On a leash at the park, he's amazing. The minute he hears this sound, let's wait for it. That's like rock and roll time. So they would unclip it, and he'd be off to the races, literally doing the zombies, the zoomies. There's all kinds of names for it, but running around like his ass is on fire, just having a great time. And the last thing he's going to do is come back. The problem is if he's doing that, like he's literally, there's no control. And so... That's where the e-collar comes in. So if he wants to have a case of the zoomies, he can have the zoomies. He can run around here all he wants. But the second I call him, he needs to come back, as you saw here. So on this one, call them. One tap of the e-collar comes flying back to me. So that's how we're going to end it on a high note. Super proud of Bentley. He's ready to go home now. And uh, like I said, very proud. If you're interested in our dog training program, check out the comments below. Uh, excuse me, check out the notes below. And uh, the description, actually, that's what they call it. I'm still getting used to this YouTube thing. If there's something else you want to see, future videos, post them in the comments below. If there's something you like, post in the comments below. If there's something you don't like, I don't care. Too bad for you. Uh, there's plenty more content coming. We have three or four more dogs coming in the next month. Something to look forward to. We've got a Pomsky coming. Super excited about that. we got a, a young female German Shepherd puppy coming. And we have, this is an American Staffordshire Terrier. We actually have a Staffordshire Terrier coming. They're a little smaller, a little more bite-sized. We call them pocket rockets. And so make sure to stay tuned for that. And we will see you on the next video. Come on, Bubba. Heel. Good boy. You did so good. So good. Where are those three pieces? Thank you.